Hey, this is Aaron with Reality PC in Real Life video podcast study hour. I recently ran across a Wall Street Journal article claiming that the new meta, also known as Facebook, it's actually an application called Threads may cause Twitter to become obsolete. I don't believe the media, I don't believe online or print or newspaper or television or radio. I'm not saying that that article was legitimate, (laughs) you know what I'm saying? That's what the article basically pertained to. I'm not going to read any of it. You can perform an internet search for, oh, probably meta could cause Twitter to become irrelevant. They use the word irrelevant, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Okay. So that's what the study hour is going to pertain to. I found this meta official article, and actually it's on, what, the Facebook domain. Although at the top it says Google, but really it's it's about.fb.com, which stands for Facebook, and then news. You could, you could just perform an internet search for meta threads, and you should find this official it's like an it's not really like a press release or an announcement, but it's like an introduction. So I'm just gonna go through this and study it and then share it with you, add some commentary. Before I get to that, my podcast live stream Rally PC in real life is actually sponsored by my website anetcomputers.com. And I'll make this quick and painless. So did you know that you can make Online phone calls with just internet access. You can use a smartphone, dumb device, I mean, excuse me, smartphone, a tablet, a desktop computer, a mini PC, just about any, you know, contemporary technology that has internet access, you can make phone calls. No contracts, no credit checks. I have one plan. It's a pay-as-you-go, no setup fee and just a, just 1.2 cents per minute. So you can make online phone calls for just 1.2 cents per minute. You can check that out. I will put a card at the top upper right hand corner of this video. It's not a live stream. And I'll get to that. That'll be a story you may want to wait for that one or I don't know. I may I don't know when I'm going to, you know, interject it. But let's get to the topic. The Wall Street Journal article had some data. It was interesting. I, you know, let my recollection, they claimed that within, I think, two days of the Meta Threads launch. Now, Meta is a competitor now of Twitter. I'm not sure I could, I have another computer. Now, this is where I can't, can't help myself. Now, I'm using a dumb device, also known as a smartphone, and I said I would never buy one again. Now, I I had to. Now, let me tell you that quick story. This is a real, in real life story. My bank, I call me paranoid. I just don't feel comfortable telling you. It's a very popular bank. It's online only. Well, they they have branches, but not many. Television commercials all over the internet. I may record a video in the future about my experience with this bank. I checked my email And I received an email claiming that my account had suspicious activity. I'm like, okay, well, I thought it was a phishing expedition. You know, those phishing email messages that you get all day. You know, you know, your your account, blah, 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 blah. You need to update your information. Just click here and it's a scammer. Yeah, I thought it was a scam email, but I but it kind of looked legitimate. (laughs) Well, I logged into my account on my bank's official website, which is what you should do. That's proper security. As soon as I logged in, I noticed my checking account had a 1-800 number and it had a message saying that we have recognized suspicious activity. Your account may be restricted and, you know, call us at blah, blah, blah. Well, I called them and guess what? The motherfuckers froze my account 
they would not allow me to withdraw any money. I was allowed to, to deposit money, but I could not withdraw. Now, I'm going to try to make this the, the story as, as quick as possible. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to bore you, but this is a real story. What do you, let me, I'll give you a few seconds to guess. What caused my bank to basically steal a lot of money, uh, at least I consider that a lot, and freeze it and restrict my withdrawal ability? I'll give you a few seconds to guess why. I called in a few days prior to that, and I ordered checks and a debit card for my online banking account. I also requested over the telephone that they change my mailing address because I travel. You can't make this shit up. That's what they considered suspicious activity. I had to call like five or six times. They wouldn't let me verify with just a code that you would get texted to a mobile telephone. They would not send a mo a automated telephone call and then the voice would tell you the code and then when when you're on the phone with an agent you give them that code they wouldn't allow me that guess what they made me do they made me fucking upload my government driver's license i had to have either a government identification or a i think a two two documents which the other one I don't have, a passport, a passport. Well, I don't use dumb phones. I haven't had a smartphone in like five years before. And guess what? Where I'm located, there's only two branches in the entire state. And the closest one is like, what, over 100 miles. And I was like, no, I'm not driving. But so basically, I had to get a smartphone. They, they basically forced me to get a smartphone the only other choice they gave me was to drive up. And it gets even weird. I don't want to expand on this. Every time I called in, I'd get a different, a obviously a different agent. Some of them would, would try to get give me a, a text code. Now, this gets really weird. The last time I called in, they, they were going to text me a code, and then I would just tell them the code, and then they would, you know, pull, pull the restriction, and they would open my account back up to withdraw well they said no they couldn't do it well then all of a sudden i got a phone call i got i received an automated phone call and the voice the automated voice gave me a code but the the agent wouldn't let me use it they they forced me to use a fucking stupid smartphone to upload my driver's license and it wouldn't work on a on a laptop it, they say it, they wouldn't they don't allow you to use a computer like a laptop or a desktop it was just an utter and they never apologized never and they admitted it too they finally admitted it every time i would ask they would get paranoid and uh, you know oh we, and some of them would get angry with me and get defensive we can't tell you our security and blah 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 well Long story short is I am already working on it, getting a new account, a new bank. And I also have a credit card with that company, but I'm going to pull my credit card. I'm going to pull my bank account because that's complete ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so that is my in real life story. And the reason why I'm using a smartphone to record this reality PC in real life pod video podcast, which I'm going to upload after I'm done. All right. I don't want you to think if you listen to me long enough, you know, I don't like smartphones. I actually hate them, but I basically had to ha use one. Otherwise, I would have had to drive over 100 miles. You know what I'm saying? And I don't have a vehicle, <laughs> so I would have had to rent a vehicle. And and then it was in a downtown area. I already I, I, I am familiar with it in that area. Parking would have been a nightmare. It, it may have been expensive if I could even find a parking space. Anyways, OK, so let's get back to Meta. In, in the future, I'm, I'm, I'm serious. It's just going to take me time. I have to get another bank account. I got to get another credit card. But I'm done with that company because of what the fucking bullshit they put, put me through. You know what I'm saying? Okay. 
Meta. So introducing threads, a new way to share with text. And it's lengthy. I'm not going to read it verbatim because that'll get what we censor YouTube will. <clears throat> Sorry about it. Excuse me. They, they will just suspend and terminate my YouTube channel at midnight. You know, even I don't see many changes with YouTube since Susan Wojcicki stepped down and quit. Do you? I don't see much at all. Okay, I, I just I just thought I'd say that. You know, I don't have anything against the new chief extortion officer. I don't know that much about him. He looks different. <laughs> I'm not. Oh, I better not talk about race or anything like that. Oh no. Oh, I'll definitely get my YouTube channel terminated. Don't talk about racism. Not in America. It doesn't exist. I mean, okay. Don't talk about the crooked criminal corrupt corporations. I mean, okay, I digress back. Takeaways. Now, I'm not going to read this verbatim. That'll get you in big trouble. But we can just go over, like, I'm not very familiar with this. I didn't even know about this. I'm busy. I'm busy trying to make a living. Uh, you know, I'm self-employed. I really wouldn't call myself an entrepreneur. But, but I was transparent. I have a website, anetcomputers.com. I'm a voice over internet protocol reseller. And according to YouTube's rules, you're supposed to, in the video, you have to mark that, that you have a, a sponsored advertisement. So I thought I would just tell people, you know, you know, just to stay out of trouble. You know what I mean? Anyways, just to earn some grocery money. I was not familiar with meta threads, really. I don't have, I just don't sit there on the internet Oh, well, who's who's Twitter's competitor this week? Oh, Mastodon? Oh, you know, which Mastodon is one of their competitors, but they haven't really taken off. How, and I don't think this is an accident. Meta Threads, according to that Wall Street Journal article, they said within the first, what, two days that, well, okay, here's what they claim. They claim that after like the first two or three days that, Facebook or Meta Threads, which is basically the competitor or a competitor of Twitter, it caused Twitter traffic to drop 5%. Or they noticed that according to their statistics, I don't know where they got it from because I didn't read the entire article, that Twitter's traffic dropped 5% after Meta Threads was disseminated. They said within about a week, I think, what was it, 10%? Twitter's traffic dropped 10%. And then I think they, they, I don't know if this is correct, but they claimed that, what, 10 million, 100 million people have already signed up for meta threads. I, I don't know if that's, if I was seeing things or, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But they, you can go check out that Wall Street Journal article. I, I don't like to read that crap. I, I, I don't read them. I don't watch television news i don't read newspapers even online most of that to me is propaganda but oops 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 you know what i'm saying but that's what they claim okay now here is what i know about meta threads which is not a whole lot but i did study it a little bit before i record this video but but i'm going to learn a lot by going through this official introduction i also have it on my my laptop computer in front of me too so it could make it easier to read I do plan on live streaming again in the future. I don't know when at this point. I don't, you know, usually talk about my personal life, but I have a lot of fucked up shit that's going on. Yeah, that, like that bank, that bank fiasco. And I'm not a millionaire. I'm not a billionaire. You know, I'm not going to tell you how much money I saved, but it's the most amount of money I've ever had in my life, meaning the most that I've had, like, as a liquid asset. And I don't know if I should really tell you because I don't, I'll be honest, but you know what? I don't, I don't, that's private. That's personal. It's the most amount of money I've ever had accumulated where I had access to. And the motherfuckers took it away and it was their fault. None of it was my fault. I called in and ordered checks and a debit card and I changed my mailing address so I could get it because I travel. I travel. I travel a lot. And, and the mother, anyways, I don't want to go over all that. So it was, that was very stressful, and some other things have been, have been going on that are stressful. The amount of money I make, uh, this one company, you know. Anyways, I don't want to go over all that. 
So I'm dealing with the same crap that a, that a lot of you people are. You know, rents doubling and, oh, okay, okay. Now, the meta threads is basically like blogging. Now, Twitter, I think, is technically a blog. Did you know that? I think technically it's a blogging platform because it's just like a, a because you're, it's like a micro blog. At, at originally, I think Twitter posts were limited, I think, to 40 characters, something like that. Then they expanded to 140. Now, I think it's 280. Meta Threads allows you to, I think, 500 characters. Now, it's similar to Twitter. You can just, you know, have very short headlines. And then I think they allow hyperlinks, hypertext transfer protocol, HTTP, URL, uniform resource locator, link, you know, if you want to link to an article or whatever. Now, another thing I know is that you, I think it's, it's exclusive to the application. All of a sudden, Meta rolled out a Meta Threads application, which I don't believe in coincidences. That can take a long time to develop. I mean, you know, so it, it, to me, it's, it's possible that Meta you know, five years ago, who knows, 10 years ago, whenever, they decided to make something that could compete with Twitter. I don't believe that. I don't, but that could be conspiratorial. And on We Censor YouTube, if you if you dare talk about conspiracies or if you dare, if you, if you talk about anything that's not on television, basically, you are considered a conspiracy tard or you, no, no. The television is bullshit. Okay. I think it, I don't believe that there is real competition, but that's a whole different subject for a, an entire different live stream that most Americans are asleep. I mean, you know what I mean? And I don't care. I don't care what you think about me. I just don't believe that. I don't believe that there's competition. And no, there's a reason why Twitter is as big as it is. There is a reason why Meta which was Facebook, is as big as it is. So anyways, but I think it's possible that Meta Threads may have been developed already, began five years ago, ten years ago, who knows? Because that, t- that takes time. I don't think it's web-based, which is a problem. I still do not like dumb devices. I'm using this to record this reality PC in real life, sponsored by Anet Computers VoIP. <laughs> I, I, I couldn't help. I couldn't help it. I sound. I. I. That sounds really obnoxious. Really, you know that. that that's like nasty, upselling. But you know whatever. You know what I'm saying. Okay, it's not an. Uh, no, no, it's not an affiliate product. I'm a reseller, so you know. What else? What else do I know about Meta Threads? Five hundred care. Oh, you can attach images. What else? Images, maybe documents. It's similar to Twitter, you know what I'm saying? But but it's about twice. Now, they have threads. I don't want to go into that. I just kind of want to keep it and compare it to Twitter. Threads, even Twitter has threads too, I think. Yeah, it, it's getting obnoxious. Like on Twitter, you can, oh, you can create like what? Multiple threads and then tie them in together and then blah, blah, blah. I don't know. Meta has that feature too, and I think that's why it's threads. But you can just micro blog. You can just type in, you can just share stuff too. So I think, but I, you are allowed to attach like photos. I'm not sure what kind of documents because that could be a, a, a big security risk. But oh, video. I think for now you're uh, able to record up to five minutes of video for your little, your meta thread or your meta blog, your micro blog, and it will be attached to your, your post. You, you give, oh, uh, another thing I know that could be very important, maybe, (laughs) you have to use your Instagram account. I don't, it's not separate. Well, 
the authentication is, is uses the Instagram authentication. So if you have an existing Instagram account, you can go ahead and sign up for Meta Threads. But I believe it's available only for dumb devices. I mean, Apple iPhone operating system, Apple iPhone, Apple iPad, and then Android, Google Android, dumb devices, Samsung, whatever, all the brands, tablet, I believe, and also smartphone. I don't think that it's web-based, which is a big, for a while there, I for about five years, believe it or not, I did not use a, a smartphone. I did not. I never, I didn't have one. And I didn't have like a, a wife that was going to divorce me. I mean, excuse me. I wasn't married. I didn't have a, you know, girlfriend or anything that, you know, would borrow me her dumb device once in a while so I could just, you know, mess around. No, no. (laughs) Although I would prefer that I did meet a female that was not, that did not use smartphones and maybe our relationship would survive (laughs) and she would not divorce me or she wouldn't threaten. Yeah, she might have threatened to divorce me using a smartphone but guess what? I didn't have a smartphone. Therefore, she couldn't me- you know, message me the, the divorce papers. I mean, excuse me. Let me take a quick break, just very quick, and I'm going to get some water. Okay, and then we'll go through this. That's about all I know, really. And that, you know, it says right here, 500 characters. You use your Instagram account. Oh, I already went over that. Hyperlinks, also known as URLs, also known as uniform resource locators, photographs, pictures. Yeah, and the videos, okay? Now, it's built by, I guess, the Instagram developers. Yeah, you can share text updates, and you can also have public conversations. I think I could be wrong, but I think that's what Threads is. I think Threads are the public conversations that you have yeah I don't know what this is about they're going to make it compatible with interoperable social networks I don't know what that means now now I do know now I remember Mastodon believe it or not the the meta threads Twitter competitor or whatever that's I don't know similar whatever it it will allow you to communicate with Mastodon and an, another one, but I don't think it will communicate with Twitter unless that's what they're talking about. So it looks like Meta Threads microblog application will interface with other competitors to, of Twitter, which I thought that was kind of strange, but but interesting also. Yeah, I don't really care about Mark Zuckerberg. I'm not a fan of his, and also I'm not a fan of Elon Musk. I don't like either of those guys. Okay, blah, 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 big announcement. Real-time updates, which is just basically like like Twitter. It's like, you know, a microblog. It's real-time. You send a message, and it, and it and you have a profile, and and then also you can, yeah. All right. What else is going on that I didn't mention? Oh, yeah, it's similar to all the social engineering, I mean, social media technologies. You can have friends or followers, what else? Yeah, basically they're the same. So either somebody follows you or they add you as a friend and then you can, you know, see their list. You you send out a meta thread message and then boom, your followers, your flock of sheep, I mean, excuse me. They will re- be able to read it real time. Now, I think yeah, it looks like it integrates with Instagram, I think. 
Now, I have not downloaded that application yet. I was thinking maybe I could do it, but no. Because I don't, I don't, I have an Instagram account, but I don't have one for reality PC or ANET computers. I'm thinking I'm, I'm probably going to create one. I was very anti, I still am, I'm still anti dumb devices and smartphones. However, you know, they can be, as a self-employed individual, they can benefit you. And so sometimes the the cons outweigh the pros, you know what I mean? It, it deals with, you know, making a living, you know what I'm saying? So, so many people are, are, you know, I read one study that what, I don't know if it's Americans, but eight, either 85% of Americans or 85% of humans own a smartphone. And it's like, Wow. I think what it does is your Instagram followers will also be will be accessible. So when you log into Meta Threads, your Instagram followers will come along with you. I think I could be wrong, but that's what it sounds like. Yeah, you all you do is you log in with your current Instagram account. If you don't have one, they're pretty it's pretty easy to create. So you use the same username and the same password. Now, but however you can, it looks like you can customize your Meta Threads profile. So the profiles will be different. But you do log in with Instagram. Now here's some some images here. So this is what it looks like. So instead of demonstrating it, and I do have an Instagram account that I'm transparent, but it's kind of a personal private one that I don't use very often. I don't, I don't even have any friends on it. I just kind of use it whenever I need to look something up on Instagram. That's another thing. If you notice a lot of these platforms, if you don't have an account, it's almost impossible to like, oh, let here, here this is apropos. Yeah, a lot of these platforms, including Twitter, Instagram, I don't know, I don't know about Meta Threads, and even Facebook. If you don't have an account with them and you want to check out somebody's profile, they make it almost damn near impossible to even look at their profile, which I think is stupid. I think it's you know be transparent, make make everything public. Now, obviously, you know the the posts that they create. If you want to, if you want to allow them to set those. To private, then the, you know the, the people on the public internet couldn't see them. But it's just, you know that that's another reason why I don't like to just open up any accounts or I don't use a lot of these platforms because you know like Twitter, you can't view somebody's Twitter although their profile without having an account. I think that's stupid. However. Twitter, I think within the last week, announced that they are going to allow the public to view all tweets. I don't know how long it was before. I don't know. I haven't used Twitter that long. Yeah, I, I, I deleted my Twitter account like, what was it, three, four, five years ago. I'm going to – I have – this is apropos also. If you follow me on Twitter.com slash computers, you will become notified when I live stream in the future whenever I – and or I record my in real life video podcast, you'll get notified on Twitter. You can also follow me on YouTube, youtube.com slash Anet Computers. And also I think you can, I think you can also type in youtube.com slash at Anet Computers. All right. Twitter now allows, I think, I think it's all tweets now. I don't know if you can set them to private and then block people from the public internet to view them. I'm not sure. I don't know all the details. But they did lift that. I don't know how long that was. I thought that was st stupid also. You can get a lot of traffic that way. You can also get a lot of signups. If, if these platforms would just allow you to at least view people's profiles, I don't, I don't see why that's a problem. But no. Anyways... That's that's within been within the last week, but however, you still cannot 
view somebody's profile without a Twitter account. Okay. So these are some screen captures of the new Meta Threads microblog application that, according to the Wall Street Journal, which could be bullshit, will make Twitter illegitimate or immaterial or whatever, whatever, whatever. Obsolete is the way they sounded like. Okay. Oh, what else? Okay, now they do have an age requirement. If you are under 16 or 18 years old in certain countries, I don't know which countries, your profile will be private. All right. What else? Oh, they use artificial intelligence generated image description. So here's another. It looks very much like Instagram. Yeah, I've used Instagram, but not. It's been a while, but yes. I may have to open up a Anna Computers or a Reality PC Instagram account. I'll let you know. <laughs> I hope I don't. I don't know. It may be good for marketing. It may or may not be. It may be good for social engineering. I mean, that was a joke. Just, you know, just getting more views to my blog. In the future, I plan on blogging again, and I plan on live streaming again. It may, it may help me out. I don't know. I also plan on opening up another Facebook page for... I'm going to try to keep everything under reality PC. However, you don't know. You, you know what I mean? You you try to create a profile on some of these platforms, and sure enough, somebody's already taken your name. So it'll either be Anet Computers or Reality PC. You know what I'm saying? But I but I did close my Facebook page, and I don't know five years ago or whatever. What however long it's been. You'll be able to follow me and you'll be able to get my, I'll try to cross platform. Oh yeah. I'll try to make it where, you know, you can get my tweets. Yeah. Yeah. I'll try to automate it too. Yeah. Yeah. Send out a tweet and it goes to Facebook. Send out a tweet. It goes to Instagram. Send out a tweet. It goes to Meta Threads. Send out a tweet and it goes to, you know, my lawyer, I mean, or my, my, my girlfriend that, that, that or excuse me, my ex-wife or I don't know, I don't know. It'll I'll, I'll build a no. Nah, I <laughs> I was gonna say that would be old school, but okay. It just basically looks like Instagram is all it does. Okay, so here's some other you know screen captures and. Wow, you know, just by looking at it, it looks just like Instagram, but whatever. Maybe they took the Instagram application and just kind of created a another one for threads, meta, I don't know. But as you can see, you can just type in messages and people can, you know, like it. I don't I don't care about that bullshit. I don't care about the like, dislike. I don't care about that crap. But I'm assuming it has that emoticons. You can use emoticons. It looks like it has a search. Oh, a heart. That's just like Twitter. That looks just like Twitter's heart. Oh, people. Is that people or a profile? What's the other one? Oh, threads. I think I could be wrong. I have not used Meta Threads, but you see the the icon, the third one from the left, with the it looks like a notepad and a pencil or something. That might be a thread. That's where you create a thread. But you can create just short little posts. You can reply to each other. You know what I mean? And it's got a home icon. It's got some other, some other, two other icons. I don't know what they are. You have a feed. I don't know if they have a RSS. RSS stands for really simple syndication, which I actually love. But it's old school, and a lot of these platforms 
kind of retired RSS. And I think to myself, it's still, it's still viable. It's just like email. You know what I'm saying? Email is what, 30 years old? Well, no, it's older than that. What am I talking about? It's more like 50 years old, whatever. But I'm talking about on the internet email, early, early 90s. And guess what? We still email. Obviously, right? So there's a feed that you get. Okay, you can follow other people. They can follow you. Remember, you're limited to 500 characters and your video is limited to five minutes. However, I th- I'm pretty sure, you. I, I believe that you can record it with the Meta application, the, the Meta Threads application. And then you upload it to your Meta Threads account and it'll embed it. And then just like on, on Twitter, Twitter does have videos and they also, well, what about podcasts? Can you, can you record audio? It doesn't, it doesn't say you might not be able to Twitter. Did you know that Twitter has podcasting? They also have live streams, although I've never, ever, ever been able to figure out how to sign up for it. What is it? it it's media, media studio or something. But I think you have to have a lot of followers. Oh, you oh you can share your Meta Threads post to your Instagram story, so so it'll show up as an in, Instagram st- story. Oh, you can also share your post on other platforms. I'm assuming it's just like a URL uniform. Resource locator, maybe Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, WhatsApp. Oh, I almost forgot. WordPress. WordPress is another website. Now, WordPress is a CMS, which is an acronym that stands for Content Management System, all right? My website, anacomputers.com, was WordPress. I used WordPress. However, I... I converted it into a static hypertext markup language, also known as HTML, because it's easier for me. Well, it take it takes a little bit longer for me to work on a post, but I prefer it. it's much faster. I don't it doesn't require a database, blah blah blah. WordPress. Meta threads are going to integrate with WordPress. They're also going to integrate with Mastodon and I think maybe some other, possibly some other quote unquote competitors to Twitter. I don't know all the details. I don't know if you have to install a WordPress plugin, Mastodon. Now, Mastodon is like software. I don't even know if they have a web-based interface. I never actually, I maybe, yeah, I wouldn't. An average, I'm not being condescending. When I read the installation instructions for Mastodon, I kind of just kind of like, you know, my eyes kind of covered and I kind of like, you know, just lost interest because it was highly technical. I'm, I'm not, I wouldn't consider myself an expert, but, you know, quickly I was able to install my own email server. I, I, I had to learn how to configure post fix. I had to learn how to configure Dovecot. My website is static HTML, so I, now I have templates, but I have to I have to know HTML. Anyways, you know what I'm saying. The instructions for Mastodon, I was like, no, thank you. Okay, but that they do have a client. I'm not sure if you have to install like a plugin or some kind of extension or something in Mastodon in order for it to integrate with with Meta Threads. Okay. Ah, uh, what else? Oh, they've got filters. Oh, they you can block. You can restrict a profile. You can block. Well, obviously, you can unfollow a profile. And you can report profiles. Okay, so if you block a profile... 
if you block an account on your Instagram account, it automatically blocks that same account on on Meta Threads. Uh, safety and security. Yeah, I don't care about this crap, but I don't care about their community guidelines. I don't care about that crap. I thought this was a bit absurd. Meta claims that they've spent $16 billion on what? On security and protection. Really? I'm sorry, but, you know, since I'm a real world computer technician and I still kind of help people every day with their computer problems, you know, just basically computer and information technology problems. People are getting their Facebook, their Instagram accounts circumvented every day, not all day, every day. So I don't know, man, they spent $16 billion, but I've made a lot of money trying to help people get back into their Facebook account and or their Instagram account. So I don't know. I don't maybe that $16 billion wasn't really spent that wisely or they should have just paid me. Okay, what else? And if they did, I wouldn't be talking to you right now because I'd be on a some island in the Caribbean or where wherever, somewhere warm. <laughs> and I would never, ever have to do it. You know, quote unquote, work again. Never, never. Okay, so here's some more screen captures of Meta Threads. Oh my God, according to the Wall Street Journal, it might make Twitter irrelevant. Yeah, right. I don't believe that, but whatever. So here's their their hidden words. They've got filters. What else? I don't know what... I'm not... I don't have all the time. I don't have the time of the day to learn everything. But Activity Pub, Interoperable Network. Now, I, I have heard of W3C, the World Wide Web Consortium. That was started like in the early 90s, if not earlier. That's old. Anyways, they have this Activity Pub that I've never really, I'm not familiar with. And it just mentions that, that, oh, here's where they mention Mastodon. Okay, now this is quoted verbatim. Quote, this would make threads interoperable with other applications that also support the Activity Pub protocol, such as Mastodon and WordPress. And I'll just leave it at that, unquote. Well, I'll finish that quote. I'll finish that sentence. Quote, quote, allowing new types of connections that are simply not possible on most social applications today, unquote. They mentioned Tumblr. I've never actually used Tumblr. I've never had a Tumblr account. I guess Tumblr is also going to use ActivityPub. Okay. That, that just sounds like that these separate platforms can communicate with one another and they can inter, interconnect and you know what I mean. They might be able to share data. I don't know about application programming interface, API. They might allow API access. If you're not familiar with that, you know, I don't, I don't want to digress, but basically application programming interface, it just allows websites to give access to their database in a more secure manner to other people or other other websites or other platforms. Basically, what you do is you have to have a key, you have a password, it's, it's secure connection, SSL, secure sockets layer, what else? I mean, it, it, it's, it's basically locked down, but what you can do, for example, anetcomputers.com. I am a, a VoIP reseller. You can check out the, the card on the upper right-hand corner if you're interested. No contracts, no credit checks, no setup fees, one account. My, 
I, I do have a monthly plan, but I'm not talking about that. I have a plan where you can just make phone calls for 1.2 cents per minute. All you need is an internet connection, internet access, and then like a smartphone or a, a VoIP telephone or a computer or a laptop. Anyways, as an example, I'm a reseller and they do, my reseller has application programming interface. I can pull data from their website. For example, like rates, let's say you're interested in my, my phone service, my VoIP service. And you want to know how much it costs in the United States or in Tunisia or somewhere in Africa or wherever. It's worldwide, all right? You can, you, I, can, I can program it. I need to learn it or I need to hire somebody. But what it would do, it, was, it, it would connect from my website, anacompares.com, to my reseller's website and pull down the rates. And then people on my website could see my reseller rates. That's a quick example of API, Application Programming Interface. Now, the, so let, let's move along from that. So here's another screen capture of the meta threads. Okay, what else? Activity Pub. I don't know that much about Activity Pub. They're, they're just talking about the future using Activity Pub. I'm not going to go over this because they haven't, I don't think they've instituted it yet. They're just planning on it. They're talking about social engineering, I mean, social networking websites. I think we're at the end here. Oh, maybe that's what it was. You know what? Earlier in this video, I claimed that the number 100, I might have been hearing things or reading things or I don't know, things were entering my mind that were bullshit. <laughs> I said 100 million or what was it, a million? This might have been what it was. We're rolling out threads today in more than 100 countries for I, iOS is an acronym which stands for iPhone Operating System and Google Android. That might have been it. But I, I swear they bragged about some big number. You can go check out that Wall Street Journal article, that propaganda rag. I mean, excuse me. I'm not a fan of any media. I, I just, I'm, not, I'm done with it. I don't watch television news. I don't listen to radio. I don't, I don't, you know, CNN.com, no. Not, none of that crap, none of it. Not, not just CNN. Oh, Fox News, no, no. I, are there any credible media on the planet anymore are there but if you want you you know the wall street journal wrote an article with some data and they did give out some numbers about you know how many people subscribe or signed up for meta threads now you can download the meta thread application from the apple application store and or the google play store What else is going on? Yeah, Activity Pub. I'm not going to go over that. I'm not really that familiar with it. Quickly, just from this blurb, it just sounds like it. It gives you. It, it gives the social media websites like Facebook and YouTube and Twitter and now Meta Threads the ability to communicate with each other. You know what I'm saying? And so maybe someday, wouldn't that be weird? You could log into one application and you could access your Facebook account. You could access your Instagram account. You could access your Meta Threads account. You could access your Snapchat. I forgot about Snapchat. I don't have a Snapchat account. I've never used Snapchat. And you're gonna, I know you're going to get snippy and snappy at me. You're going to snap at me like a turtle. How dare I not use Snapchat? WhatsApp. You could you could access your WhatsApp. You could access your Mastodon. You could access, I already mentioned YouTube. Did I mention YouTube? You could, yeah, your YouTube account and get it terminated at midnight because you made a video that criticized, you know, the, what, the World Wide Web Consortium or the Activity Pub. I mean, 
you know, the, the, your, you could access your Twitter all, all within one application. You know what I'm saying? But no, probably not. I, I doubt that it would ever occur. I don't know. You never know. Maybe the world order, that could be part of the Great Reset or the world order. <laughs> Anyways. I mean, talk about I talk about getting bombarded with all kinds of garbage all at once. I mean, no, but seriously, I'm thinking for now that the activity pub just might make you know the, the aforementioned websites be able to talk to each other, be able to communicate with each other easier, and they can share data and blah blah blah. Okay, but I'm not going to move on along that with that because they haven't even rolled that out yet. Okay, that's it. This is it. That that's it, man. I have not used the the MetaThreads app. I might download it after this video, although I need to get to Google Ads. I'm, uh, yeah. Now, talk about now I'm more like an entrepreneur. For the last five to six years, I was more of a surf. Well, I'm still a surf. No, no, no. Even, even as an entrepreneur, I would still classify myself as a surf. However... You know, I had, I don't, I'm not going to, someday I may, I may talk about that company, but I still make money from them a different way. I basically, I no longer help people with their computer problems, their information technology and computer problems every day like I used to. A couple months ago, I may, I recorded, I, I, my reality PC in real life live streams, I used to record while I worked and I hated it and I admitted I hated it. And I probably, I, I think I hated it for the last five or six years. I just got tired of all of the bullshit. And I don't want to go over all that. It can be stressful. You got, you know, you got trolls. You got people cussing at you, yelling at you, threatening you, threatening to sue you. One, one, I saw one death threat on that website. I may never talk about that website because there's a, another way I can earn income so that's kind of where the the entrepreneur comes. I would say that me becoming a VoIP reseller is sort of like an entrepreneur. My definition of an entrepreneur is really somebody that develops something. Now, I did create my own website, inetcompares.com, so maybe that falls under being an entrepreneur. But, but you know, selling, like being an affiliate marketer, not really because you, you still answer to somebody, even a reseller. They could close my reseller account at, at any time. Whereas a real entrepreneur to me is somebody that thinks up of a product or a service. They they may have to get it, they may have to get a patent for it, they may have to get whatever. I'm not into that crap, but I'm just saying. They actually they they create something that that and they didn't copy somebody, they didn't steal it. No, they created it on their own. I'm not really th that far yet, but I'm, I'm like kind of in between, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to make income without having to rely on other people. I'm still self-employed. I don't have to drive into an office and all that crap. Okay. I don't, I think that's probably it for this in real life reality PC. I think so. You know what I'm saying? That was very interesting. You can check out, you can follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash computers, youtube.com slash computers. You can browse to anetcomputers.com. That's a blog that I've been working on for, I think, over 10 years. I think I have over 800 blog posts, although I need to clean that up. I probably need to remove about half of it because, you know what I'm saying? But I have a lot of blog posts that can help you. Oh, and I do plan on blogging again. Since I don't, you know, help people every day and I'm not, I'm not stressed out, you know, I don't. Basically, I was providing technical support, you know, online. And it, it, it just technical support can be very stre stressful, you know what I'm saying? When and if I create a MetaThreads account, I will share that with you. I plan on maybe Facebook, a Facebook page. You could follow me on there in the future. Twitter, what else? But for now, it's just Twitter, YouTube, 
my website, innercomputers.com. And I plan on live streaming again. I'm just making some, I'm, I'm still looking for pre- for more private personal premises. That's another problem. The rents doubled. It, you know, it's very, it can be very expensive. Uh, here's another real life story. I'll, I'll, maybe I'll end on this. So I'm looking for like an apartment or maybe a condo or a townhome or a house, you know, something small. Well, I signed, I, I found this residential company and they, they rent mostly apartments. And so I submitted my application and I paid a fee for it. And they, they haven't even, I've tried to call them. I've emailed them. I've called them multiple times. I've, I've left them a voicemail. There's a specific apartment complex that I would love to live. Now check this out. It wouldn't be that expensive. There would be three parks near it. I, oh, I love going for a walk. I mean, three large parks right across the street. There's even a library across the street if I ever needed to go there for, you know, internet access or whatever. So, and yet this residential company, I even called them the other day. They still have not processed my application. They, I think, and, and then I went and had that problem with my bank. Now get this. Yesterday I called, there's a, there's a small building that's for rent. And I thought, well, you know what? I need to earn some money. I have some savings, but I don't want to, you know, waste it all. I don't want to blow it all. No way. Uh Uh-uh. I want to, I want to keep that balance. You know, I don't want to dig, dig into my savings. You know what I'm saying? I was like, well, you know, maybe I could rent a little retail store, just a small, you know, 800, 400 square foot, 800 would be like too much, but you know, so but it's hard to find. It's hard to find retail space. that's like less than 800 square feet sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Well, I found one. There's a small little separate building. It's maybe 500 square feet. I don't know. And it had a for rent sign. And so I walk a lot and I was walking to get some groceries because I don't have a vehicle. That's how I, another way I save money. And that's, I, I've talked about that story too, but I don't, I don't, I won't include it in this one quickly. I'll just make it quick. I had my vehicle stolen from a extended stay America hotel three, three years ago, almost three years ago now. Okay. Anyways. And so that's why I don't have a vehicle. I could afford one, but I decided to say, it is a fuck it. All right. I called the the number on the the for rent sign. Guess what? I I I they they answered the phone and I said, I'm calling about the the little retail location for rent. Is it still available? And the guy hung up on me. And I was like, what the fuck is this shit? And so I waited five minutes, I called him back. And they, I got their voicemail. I left a voicemail, and they never called me back. <laughs> although, although things are getting better today, I called another. In this in this city, there's not many ad ads for this kind of for retail, you know. Anyways, however, when when I walk around, I do see signs once in a while for like that other one, like the one that I called. I was like, oh, they would be perfect. Anyways, I found another smaller retail it is retail and i called and spoke with a a lady today and tomorrow i'm supposed to call her and she's gonna let me schedule a time where i can check out the space i can view the space and tomorrow if if, i I already know because i looked it up online i know where it's at actually the irony i was actually over there the other day it's a long story, man. Oh, I had to get my 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 dumb device. It's an AT and T, Cyclops or Calispo. I don't know some bullshit I've never heard of. <laughs> Anyways, uh, since I don't have a vehicle, I had to walk a mile and a half. Well, I, I could have took the bus, but I was like, nah. You know, I'll just. I didn't go for a walk that day, so I was like, well, I need to go for a walk. It was about a mile and a half. And I went to a dollar, uh, no, it was a family dollar, believe it or not. I, I, I called two cell phone places that were within uh, like, a, like you know, two blocks away. They didn't answer their phone. Then I went and walked to their, their addresses on Google. 
they were both closed. One of them was appointment only, but I, I, I called them multiple times and they wouldn't answer their phone. It's like Americans, they don't want to work anymore. E- even entrepreneurs, even self-employed, even small business owners, they don't want to work anymore, it seems like. Okay, so I, back, so I digress back. So I had to walk all the way a mile and a half. I got my smartphone, and then sure enough, I I just I just decided to go on Craigslist because I'm you know I'm like, well I'm trying to get an apartment, but this company they're they're not they they haven't even processed my application. I think they might be just a scam. I'm I might not get they might just what they do is they advertise on the internet or they have a website, and then when you call them they just tell you to sign to a to apply, to fill out the application, pay for it, and then that's it. And then they ne- they never process your application, and then they, they just make up, they make money off the application fees. And if you think that's crazy, I've actually read reviews on the internet from apartment complexes, and, and nowadays that, that happens a lot more than you think. Uh, uh, anyways, okay. So tomorrow I hopefully will, you know, schedule an appointment. And if I, I already know I like it, it would be perfect. Now I might start, I never thought I would do this. I might start a little computer repair shop and then it will also be a phone shop. I will, and I will even sell used computers if I can get them. And I might even try to sell smartphones. So Basically, what it'll be a little, you know, it has a retail, it has a, it has a laboratory, it has plenty of space, and then I'll be able to sell my my phone service. I'll be able to sell it locally. People can walk up and pay pay their bill or add credits, or I I might be able to sell smartphones. And what I can do is I can get a smartphone application developed, and then I can sell them a smartphone and I can just tell them, look, I don't sell data plans, but my phone service, you can test it for free, which is true. You can test my phone service for free. You can sign up for free and I'll give you, I'll create you an account. And all you have to do is download a smartphone application like, like Zoiper or Linphone, or or I, I just what the one that I just found that I'm using on this phone, very lightweight, Mitsu something. Anyways, I'm not familiar with it. Or yeah, that's all they have to do. And then as long as they have, and it works over Wi-Fi. My internet phone service works over Wi-Fi. Starbucks, McDonald's, Arby's, any of the any anywhere, a library, anywhere that has public internet, you can use it. If you have internet service at home, you can use that too. If you have one of the VoIP phones like the Cisco, it'll you can use that too. So that's what I plan on. I uh, like, you know, a month ago, no, I wasn't even planning on any of this, but the shit's hitting the fan. And then when my bank decided to, you know, lock me out from withdrawing funds, I was like, oh my God. <laughs> All right, I think I, I've said enough. Adios.